almost there. Almost got me. This is what it looks like now. We got in so far, I wanted to timber it up for safety. So, as you can see, this is, this is where the original slope of the mountain is. And it was totally flat pretty much here. Maybe a little depression, but just dug and dug and dug. And uh, this, is called a, this is called a collar. So when you set a collar, it's a set of timbers and a collar. And up on top, that'd be called laggings. And so we have two sets here, another, another collar, put that up, got more laggings. And then back here, back here is where I finally tapped into the opening. So I was digging, 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 and I'll show you the right one, thank you. Get some flashlight action for you. I'm not going to go down in there, it's too dangerous, but I'll get you as far as I can. Just had a cave in up in there, so I'm not liking that roof. <laughs> but I put this timber in. I'll try and get you as much visibly as I can, but as you can see, it's filled with water. Goes back. That's at least 20 feet or so. And I would say they stopped mining. It's not that it's caved in, so I can get you a better view back. And all the stuff you see hanging from the ceiling, that's just roots from the trees above tapping into that water. But as I was digging, I noticed it was pretty soft on this side and I kept digging and kept digging and sure enough, opened up another tunnel. So let's look at this, look at the roof, make sure the roof looks pretty good. And uh, boy, that one you can really see a little better. Water looks to be about a foot to two feet deep right there. There's the ore, actually. That's a pretty good view of the uh, what's called the uh, block ore. That's what we're looking at, in my opinion, right there. Looking at a nice chunk of block ore. And that goes and that, that goes way back in. I'd say what you're looking at right there on the floor is caved-in roof. But that, that tunnel goes back in. That's 30, 40 feet back in at least. Pretty awesome. So this mine would have been, I'm st I think, let me back up here and give you a feel of what we're looking at. All right. So I think this mine would have been opened in the 1830s. I think it would have been uh, black powder. So pick, pick shovel and then a sledgehammer and a star bit drill would have been how they worked this. And it probably, all this ore went to the Liberty Furnace, which is not even maybe a mile to our east of this site. But the Liberty Furnace went out of business in the 1840s. That's 20 years before the Civil War. So I, I think this is a really old mine, almost 200 year old mine. And one of the other clues is when I uh, metal detected out in this tailing, we didn't get any hits. Not a nail, not a bolt, nothing. And that to me indicates some of the earliest, earliest works that were in the area. Um, because every little scrap of metal was so valuable, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have tossed it. Whereas once you start getting into the 1870s, 1880s, some of the mine tailings around this area, you do start finding all kinds of metal garbage that when a buggy wheel would break or a piece of track would break, they would just throw it in the tailing. There's nothing like that in this tailing. All right, so one more time, we'll get you a tour of walking into it. That's a lot of digging. side. And this is where the cave in just hit me a little earlier. <laughs> Had the whole roof come down right before right before I filmed this, so we dug all that out.
let me just show you. Boy, it's kind of hard to see here in the snow, but right there is another small tailing and a depression there. And I have no plans on doing any more digging. I've done enough of that, but I, I'm convinced if you dug in there, you'd hit another mine. If I turn down here, there's another tailing over there and another depression. So I think you got a couple small works here where they would have worked the local iron ore.